Are you a product owner who is fond of rice, basmati rice? Oh, no, just kidding. Are you struggling to prioritize work for your team? Do you feel like you are constantly putting out fire and not focusing on the most valuable functionality? Fear not, rice is here to help you. RICE is an acronym that can help you in prioritization based on their potential impact and feasibility. You can determine which items to focus on first by scoring each product backlog item on four criteria: the reach, impact, confidence, and effort. This RICE score can be used to rank your PBIs, giving you the order of priority. This abbreviation contains following elements. Reach as in how many clients can I reach? Impact as to what extent will each client be impacted? Confidence. How confident are we in these scores? Effort as in what's the complexity of this functionality we are looking for, how much time effort is required to build and deliver the functionality. So how do you use this RICE? Start with assigning a score for each of the four criteria for each of your PBI. Reach is the estimated number of users or customers who will be impacted by the feature or the product backlog item. This can help in determining the potential impact of a particular PBI. For example, if you are planning to launch a new feature on your e-commerce platform that is likely to attract more customers, then in this case the reach score for this feature, this PBI, would be high. Impact refers to the degree of impact a particular PBI will have on your business or customers. It measures the potential change or improvement that the PBI will bring to your organization. Again, as an example, the feature that can significantly increase user engagement or revenue would have a higher impact score. Confidence is the level of confidence your team has in delivering the PBI, in delivering that feature successfully. This can be based on factors such as technical feasibility, skills, know-how, available resources. As an example, if your team has successfully delivered similar PBI, similar features in the past, then the team feels that they have done that earlier, they know it, so that their confidence score for that feature would be much high. So you are assigning these three numbers and then multiplying them. So reach into impact into confidence. And then we are going to divide that by the effort. So the effort measures the time, the resources, the complexity required to develop and deliver that PBI. Of course, if it is complicated, then the effort required to develop and deliver that would be higher. So this effort helps in identifying which feature requires the most effort and resources. Again, as an example, a feature that requires significant development effort, such as integrating with a complex third-party product, would have a high effort score. Remember, the effort here is denominator. So the higher the effort, the lower your rise score would be. So use reach, impact, confidence, and effort for scoring your PBIs, the product backlog items. The higher the RICE score, the higher the priorities. So I can use RICE to prioritize my PBIs based on the feasibility, based on the impact and reach of that P.
PBI. By using the RISE framework, you can prioritize your product backlog and manage it more effectively and efficiently. So, be the fan of RISE. Give it a try.